when we first got together back in 2003 to plant the church, the eight couples that launched it, the whole concept was built around the Acts 2 church. I always felt like that's the perfect model for a church. Those people met together on a daily basis and they encouraged each other. They reached out to the community. They met each other's needs and the Lord added to their numbers daily. And so that was our vision for starting the church. The vision began to evolve and we began to see what an Acts church would look like and how that would play out in Crofton, a community that really had some churches but not a lot of people connected in churches. There was about 80% of the population there in Crofton, we discovered, that had no church affiliation. So we looked at that as a great place to get started, and we went in there with a concept of family, where friends would come together and it would feel like a family. And when you came on a Sunday morning, you'd feel like you were home, and it was a family reunion. It would be a celebration. And so out of that, came the vision for this campus, this community center. In our society today, over 90% of the people can be reached through the arts and athletics. I remember in 2004 going to a conference where I learned about reaching people through arts and athletics. And when you think about it today, turn on the television and just about half of the television stations are bouncing balls or chasing balls or there's some kind of athletics going on. And if people aren't doing that, then they're painting pictures or they're learning to dance or they're editing film or they're recording music. And we see all of that going on on a regular basis on our campus and in the community center. And we can see reaching people and showing the love of Christ through many, many different ways through arts and athletics. So that's kind of been our vision, and we can see it. We're already making it happen, but on a smaller basis. But we know as the church continues to grow and this new campus, that there'll be more people to reach out to. And God just opened the doors for us when he gave us 42 acres of property. When people said, you won't find a place to build in Crofton, there's no land. They can't even build a high school because there's no land. And it's just like God who gives us 42 acres just a mile and a half from where we were meeting. And so we can see the vision began to unfold. We got more confirmation from the Lord that this is what he wanted us to do. We were a young church, so the possibility of buying that property didn't look real good. But God opened another door, and we found a bank, and they made us the loan. And now three years later, the property's paid for. We own it, God and us. And we see a bright future in developing that campus. We just had a new members class a few weeks ago, and we found in that class that a large percentage of those people, in fact, all but one couple, was invited by someone in the church. And we continually hear from those folks in our new members class, that's a very friendly place, a very loving place. People feel welcome. And that's the environment that we want to create seven days a week in our community center and it's just to show the love of Christ. I call it backdoor evangelism. It's bringing people in through the back door. They wouldn't typically come through a church, but they would come and bring their children to be in a dance rehearsal or to, to learn drama or to take English as a second language or to come and receive some counseling because they're going through a difficult time in their lives. And that really should be the role of the church. I always envision that is that's the way a church should function is that if you're going to do something that's community-minded, the church at the center of that. So there comes the concept of the campus, the community center, reaching out to people, connecting to people every day, seven days a week. Not just have people running up and down your, your driveway there two days a week, but every day of the week, and then having the opportunity to show them the love of Christ. And after a while they go, this is a church? This is a place where people come and worship the Lord? Yes but it's also a place where people come and become connected. And so that's, that's what we've looked for. That's what we, we envision happening, and I believe that's where the Lord is leading us.